my channel how are you doing today are you doing good are you not doing good let me know because somebody will give you the behind you period so in today's video i will be doing my hair as you guys can see so that means i am back at you guys with yet another wig review as y'all can tell i have been coming hard with the slays i've been working with color kinky curly color all type of color so you guys i'm ready to get into the sleigh i'm ready to inspire you guys to get y'all hair done and then get y'all looks together so you guys can slay all the time so your girl has been trying to deliver with the different looks with the diversity because i know y'all like okay black curly black straight black short black long black 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 so today I have a little surprise for you guys. We'll be working again with this beautiful brand called Original Queen Beauty. This is their packaging. You might recognize this packaging from the last video, which was this red kinky curly unit that everybody fell in love with. Today they are delivering again with another sleigh. So you guys make sure you check Original Queen Beauty out. The link in the description box. As you guys can see, I have worked with them like three times and they deliver the looks. Period. So you guys, this is the unit that we will be working with today. As you can see, it's like a chestnut brown color and it has like blonde highlights in it that are really, really light. I have never tried it like this before, you guys, so I'm kind of excited. Look at this color. Look at this color! Who are you talking to? It is in 20 inches, you guys, but it still looks really long. It is really, really soft, you guys. I love the texture, the straightness of this hair. The color is beautiful. The length is beautiful, you guys. I am just super excited. It's a 13 by 4 party space, as you guys can see. It is 13 by 4 which is a frontal. If you are ready for a frontal slay, I suggest this wig for you, you guys. The frontal is going to be beautiful. The lace is super thin, like y'all, get into this lace. It is laying right here on my hand, as you guys can see, it is super, super thin. Like, look at it. I got like a little black spot right here and you could really see like straight through that lace, you guys. Look at how this lace is laying on my hand. So you guys, this wig unit has lace at the back that you can lay down and put your hair into a ponytail. It also has four clips, two horizontal and two vertical. So you can clip these into your braids. If you have braids and you just want to clip it, you can also do that. And it also comes with the straps that you can adjust at the back if it is too big for your head. Okay, you guys, everything looks great on this unit. I'm going to go do my own customization, which is plucking it and getting it ready to be installed. And I'll be back to show you guys the ball cap method. Why be looking so muscular? Okay guys, so once I have cut off all the excess lace from my wig cap, I'm going to go in with some makeup. Okay love, so now that we have did our complete ball cap method, that means it is time to move on to the install. So once I have applied the wig to my head, I'm going to measure and see if I need to cut my ear holes. So with this particular unit, I do need to cut my ear holes, so I'm going to go in and do that. Now I'm just going to pull it around my ear, see if it meets up, and it does. This side, and then I'm going to cut that ear hole. So once I have cut my split, I am going to slide it back like this and add my adhesive to the front of my hairline. Once I have that layer down, I'm going to go in with a second one. Y'all, Jersey is the clingiest dog ever. Like, this boy does not leave me alone. And then when I'm not petting him, he come nudge my hand with his little, with his little nose. Like, boy, leave me alone. So as you guys can see, the layer is pretty clear. Boom, boom, boom. So now we are going to apply our lace 
what I do is I take either a comb or a bristle brush and I comb the lace into the glue, make sure everything is precise. I started my ear holes. So once your lace is applied, now you just need to remove it with some scissors or an eyebrow razor. I'm gonna take my scissors and go into a jagged line. Okay, you guys, so this is what it looks like when it's fresh, like fresh, 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 like I just did. I'm going to go in and do my part in my baby. I'm going to go do my part in my baby hairs and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look. Y'all, look at that. Just, just look at that. I have gotten so better over time. Like, I have gotten so much better over time. Like, zinger! Like, y'all can't tell me that's not a slave. You can't tell me! Okay, guys, so this is the finished look using the original queen hair. Y'all, when I tell you I love the color of this unit, I mean, I just love the color of this unit. It was so easy to install. Like, y'all, I had no problems. The lace was super, 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 super thin. So if you want a really good melt, like if you want like a really, really good melt, I would really suggest using Original Queen hair. The color is beautiful. The texture is beautiful. Everything about this hair is absolutely gorgeous. If you guys are interested in purchasing this unit, I will have everything in the description box. You guys can go check them out. I will highly suggest this unit, you guys. And I will highly suggest the burgundy unit that I had on previous. I will highly suggest that one if you're looking for something kinky, curly, and of color. But if you're looking for something like bone straight with some color in it, this will be the perfect unit for you. If you guys like this video, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below what you want to see from me next. Thank you guys again for tuning in, and I'll see you in my next video.